And as we head further and further down, I feel like we're reaching the bottom as we just avoid the clearly obvious trap. I'm presently trying to work out who would fall for this. I mean, you literally have to walk towards the massive trap in order to set it off. Mind you, I wouldn't put anything past you, Eric. Just gonna walk around all these traps. Hello everybody and welcome, you are watching Dave playing games, my name is Dave and I am playing Skyrim, this is the saga of Eric the Slayer. Last time out we were in Sarthal and we did some bits and pieces with the Mages College, largely just to get that storyline rolling along so that we could get access to some of their more useful bits. However, we can't get away from the fact that there are bigger machinations at play here, no, there's a dragon to deal with. And apparently some wolves, what, 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 what? who gave you a staff? Who were you talking to in the Mages College? Hmm. I'm not entirely sure I picked that up. In fact, I'm fairly sure you picked that up and decided of your own accord you were going to be doing some magic stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure about this, Eric. In fact, our quest to take down Alduin has led us to a dwarven ruin. That ruin also appears to have a dragon here, Eric. Nevertheless, we've found Alfdan, so I suggest we get down there quickly before this dragon tries to eat us. Well, not to worry, for whatever reason, he appears to have gotten bored with us. Okay, the flybys are scary, but he's not gone for us just yet. Well, we'll just duck into this crack for the glacial ruins, and inside, hopefully, we'll find some way down into Blackreach. So far, so good. There's a lot of suspicious noises, but... What do you think these devices were for? Um, I would say cooking. Anyway. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh god, it started already. Blood splatters, skeletons, skulls in cooking apparatus. <sighs> and a loot... Why is it always the bards that go first? Aside from the singing and the propositioning and the generally being irritating. Deeper and deeper we go and there appears to be more and more blood. No, there's got to be more Shut up, shut up. Lord. I don't think we're alone down here, Eric. Always I think there's a crazy guy down here too. And this seems to open out into the Dwarven Ruins. So, if we just delve around a little more, hopefully this will be where we can get down into Blackreach. Oh god, oh god, a spider! A mechanical spider! I'm not sure what's worse, living spiders or metal ones? I mean, arguably it's the real ones, but um, yeah, I'm not too keen on these either. Okay, there is all sorts of weird machines down here, and I am not okay with it. I mean, how do I even describe what I'm seeing? It's like a jack-in-the-box murder globe with sword hands. What lunatic thought this would be a good idea to invent? You've nearly got a merit. Beautiful, down he goes. Well, what did you have? Some gemstones, but really, really not that much. Also, this, so this place goes on forever. Amazing, this place is so well preserved. There isn't even a hint of rust. It's probably all of the spiders. I was going to say oil, but spiders works too. Speaking of oil, I'll be having that to sell. And hidden behind this gate, there appears to be some chests. Also locked. One of these days, it's going to have something interesting in it. Bingo. And a single piece of gold. I went through all of that for one gold. Total waste of time. Also, there's webs down here as well, so I'm worried about there being actual spiders. Keep your eye out, Eric. Just head through this door. And there is another chest with a button in front of it, which I suspect means, yep, fairly obvious trap. So, I'll just be looting this chest from the side. And this place is heaving in weird mechanisms. We've got to be super duper careful. You know, try not to get pushed off or injured. Or attacked by spiders. And finally we find a door which looks like it could lead to where we need to be. At the very least leads us closer to our, uh, our ultimate destination. 
It's very odd looking machinery. Don't get too far ahead. Um yeah, I don't plan to. Also, for something that's almost exclusively populated by robots. Why is there blood on the floor? Damn it, there's another murder globe. Okay, if there are two of them, this is going to take all of my power. Actually, a bit of a challenge to keep them up. Well, I don't mind saying that was unpleasant. This place is absolutely heaving in horrible, horrible things. And I doubt this will be any different. It's covered in buttons, which... Oh god, oh god, oh god. Eric, come back, 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 back. Quick, 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 come here, quick. Yeah, don't set off the traps, Eric. They're very killy. Right, how am I going to do this without setting off all of the traps? No, 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 Eric, no. Oh, 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 God, there's spiders. Oh, God. Right, okay. This entire place is a death trap. I would appreciate if you tried your best not to get killed by literally everything in here. And a locked door in our way. Um, okay, so this one's gone a bit crazy. These walking devices are strange yet amazing. What magic powers them? You know what, some questions don't need to be answered. I found soul gems on these things, so let's just walk away. Just close this door. I think we know why it was locked. Down and down we go, wolf. Eric, what even is that thing? Okay, so apparently we have to deal with a bunch of goblins as well. I mean, it's only a matter of time, isn't it? It's only a matter of time before we find a bunch of spiders in here. And one of them's using goblin magic. Ooh. Set me on fire, are you going to let him do that? Don't fall, don't fall after him. What? Did... <laughs> oh, were, you, were you friends with that, that skeever? Okay, there's another one. Eric, there's another one. Eric, there's another one. Ow. So obviously the fall didn't kill him and he's just come back up. And we've leveled up as well, which is great. However, I do happen to know that we don't have enough. That was you again, wasn't it? Anyway, as I was saying, I do happen to know that I presently don't have enough experience to use any of the perks on my restoration yet. I do have a bit of a plan, but that will have to wait for now. In the meantime, we have to go through the Goblin Kingdom if we have any hope of getting down into Blackreach. Okay, these goblins are doing quite a lot of damage. And whilst I'm not a big fan of slaughtering entire civilizations, these goblins are being really, really horrible. So um, perhaps we can overlook it on this one occasion. And look. Oh, and there's even more of them. And uh, flame traps. Okay, we're going to have a job to get past these guys. Hey! Eric, Eric, come away, step away from the fire. Step away from the fire. My god. I don't know what's harder, keeping me alive or keeping you alive. And apparently, uh, so apparently they were smoking some mushrooms. And yet further down this goes, but, oh, wait, what's this? Oh shit, shit. Okay, these goblins are getting more and more dangerous. What on earth is a skulker? Quick heal, quick heal. Okay, this is getting less fun. I think we should uh, try and get out of here as soon as we possibly can. Down and down, down we go. Where? Oh, there's actual spiders. I knew this was gonna happen, Eric. You got a, you got a staff again. Put the staff away. That's it, use the hammer, use the hammer on the spider. 
Oh god, my Eric's falling down a hole. Who's gonna protect me now? Shit! Not good, not good, not good. There's Eric. Eric's just down here slaughtering all the Falmer. If I somehow make it out of this, it's going to be an absolute miracle. Why is it gonna be a spider of all things? Look. And apparently he iced that spider. So, uh, okay. And he's just used that stupid staff to kill the last of the Falmer. Right. Right, that's it. You, you, give me that staff. Good day, friend. And as we head further and further down, I feel like we're reaching the bottom as we just avoid the clearly obvious trap. I'm presently trying to work out who would fall for this. I mean, you literally have to walk towards the massive trap in order to set it off. I don't think so. Mind you, I wouldn't put anything past you, Eric. Just going to walk around all these traps. And... <laughs> And there is another Falmer. There was a Falmer. Oh wow. Wow, wow, wow. This... Exactly. This is phenomenal. Look at this. Oh, crap. More Falmer. I have to say I'm never going into a Goblin Kingdom ever again. This is horrendous. Still, at least it seems like we're finally done with all of those Falmer. Which is good. We may be getting somewhere. And with any luck, we'll find an entrance to Blackreach. Honestly, I feel like this could not get any worse. I am never speaking ever again. That's it. Great job. Dwarven Centurion. Well, at least it has a key, so if we ever need to come back, it's easy to do so. Eric? Did I, did I walk in on something? I mean... I feel like this was a bit... what? Who were these people? Some questions have no answers. Right. Finally we find the door into Blackreach. And... Whoa. As if I didn't think the last place was unnecessarily huge. Welcome to Blackreach. <laughs> Blackreach has some incredible vistas, all the mushrooms, the waterfalls, the deep cavernous spaces, it's got buildings down here and murder globes, oh god. Right Eric, let's spring into action. Okay buddy, you've got this, hit it with a hammer, yeah, let's play murder globe croquet down in the caverns of Blackreach. <coughs> Right, well, I suppose we'd best take a wander. Yep, there's a whole landscape we've got to try and navigate. So many weird and wonderful things. Oceans to swim. And a whole bunch of stuff presumably going to try and kill us. Like that. This is a journey that could take us literally episodes to... Oh. We found it, the Tower of Bazark, and inside is yet another enormous, crazy dwarven mechanism. I mean, look at it. Look at it, it's crazy! A whole different bunch of buttons that do different things. But with blind luck, if you press enough buttons, it, it just works out for you. And there we go, Eric. We found it. An Elder Scroll. We've not got a moment to lose, Eric. Let's head back to the throat of the world. Let's speak to Parthenax. Let's see if we can learn that Portuguese. I feel like after doing that, we can do anything. Come on, let's go save the world. Hey, Parthenax. Hey, good news. So you have it. The Kel, the Elder Scroll. Time shudders at its touch. Go then. Fulfill your destiny. Take the scroll to the time wound. Do not delay. Alduin will be coming. 
He cannot miss the signs. Well, this is it. This is this is the moment of our destiny. This is where we learn Dragonrend. We can take on Alduin once and for all. But but if he is coming here, I mean, I do distinctly remember promising that I would go and speak to the Archmage about that big ball that we found in Sarthal. So um, maybe I should do that first. I mean, I am a lizard of integrity, and I keep my word. Now, where could he be? Aha! Excuse me, Savos Aaron. You are relatively new here, are you not? I have noticed you, but we have not spoken. I am Savos Aaron, Archmage of the College of Winterhold. That's lovely. Pleased to meet you. Listen, I need to speak to you about a big glowy ball in Sarthal. Please don't tell me that another one of the apprentices has been incinerated. I have enough to deal with right now. You, you make that sound like that happens a lot. No, listen, um, there's there's a ball and Tolfdir wants you to see it. It looks really funky. I see. I trust that Tolfdir will provide a more specific explanation. Really funky. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. So I feel like that's, uh, that's done. Well, with that wrapped up, I'm I'm running out of excuses, I guess. Um, I should probably go and deal with that whole Alduin situation, and I will just as soon as I've uh, I've checked that I've got every possible edge. If not for me, then at least for my fine travelling companion. After all, let's be fair. I'm not going to be the one that's fighting the dragon. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that, so much better. My man, you are the perfect dragon slayer, right? I suppose we should do this. And do it we absolutely shall next time. If you have enjoyed the video, stick a like on the video for me. If you'd like to see me do anything different, drop a comment down below. I'll read it, I'll get back to you, we shall sort something out. And for more of these videos, they go up every single Skyrim Sunday. So be sure to subscribe and I will see you for that one. In the meantime, take care of yourselves. Tira.